This case, um... The devil so, made me do it case. It was yeah. an infamous, internationally renowned case. Yeah. Um, a trial of Arnie jo Cheyenne Johnson. Yeah. Which um, was, I believe, the first in time in the history of the court of law in the United States that yeah. um, that the, the counsel tried to claim... That demonic possession was used as, as an alibi. Uh, as a reason for for committing what ultimately became uh, manslaughter. Yeah, I think Conjuring One and Conjuring Two were very insular movies. They were strategically haunted house movies, and we were kept within the confines of these houses. And what we could explore is corners of the houses, and the investigation was sort of kept to that space. And we bust out in Conjuring Three and uh, step outside the walls yeah. of the Glatzels house. Residents of Brookfield were shocked this afternoon by the broad daylight murder of Bruno Sauls. We knew when we read this script that this was uh, not only just because it was a more of a detective uh, a thriller more than necessarily a, a typical haunted house movie, uh, that it was going to be a different feel for a Conjuring movie, although still obviously terrifying. Um, that being said, th this was um, uh, this was a how do you explain it? It was just just the script was just just blown out. It was just huge. We read it. We both called each other like it's huge. It's well, just yeah. I mean just by nature of taking them out of a haunted house and putting placing them the, into the, the real world, the scenery and, and the mountains with outside characters in, the, in the world. Yeah, you're dealing with the police. You're, you're yeah. in the forest. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. in a hospital, and you are yeah a lot of more, a lot more locations, so it's going to look different. It's a it's a much different feel in that regard, which is obviously super exciting. Whatever is going on, whatever happened that day, that was not Arnie. I was wary of shots. I'm like, how is anyone? You, he, you know, James as a band leader is just like one of the most, again, one of the most exuberant, ebullient, joyful people, supercharged with passion. And that's what I expect now with the conjuring. And so when Shaw's stepped up to the plate and his energy is beautiful. Yeah. He's a real cheerleader. He can yeah. get the crew going, us going in two seconds flat. Yeah. With his command, his leadership, he has this like silly joyfulness that yeah. he he revs us up yeah. with. Great. I know even when James came very early on, he knew he was so happy because not only does Shavs have the have the the, the skill set, but really as as you hear us talk, it's so much about your your attitude and and and, and his ideas and his ideas and um, uh, and his passion for this. Um, project for this to to the the, the excitement this the sort of unabashed excitement of like I'm in the conjuring universe like it's great I was hoping it would I love doing it I love working with this dude I, I love and, and it's even a greater family you know it's it, it's it's the crew as well that's been a part yeah. of this journey and if it's a family and it's nice coming back and checking in with each other every two years because we're all very very connected and we're and it's it's a circus on set because as dark as as what we're the story we're telling we we it's really an, an affectionate group of people and and there's so much good fun that we have <laughs> Yeah, these lovebirds met uh, at 16 years of age. And as I understand it, as Lorraine has relayed to me, that it was love at first sight. <laughs> you can't even, can't even look at me. Very much like it was like at first sight with us, wasn't it? <laughs> and um, so, you know, great. it's really sweet to be able to glimpse that. And there are flashbacks in the film. Uh, that take you back to that, you know, that that very first moment where Cupid just like got out his arrow and bing, Ow. got this guy, Ow. and we get to see it through these young actors who are so delicious and so charming and really enchanting <laughs> and who were really into each other. Yeah, <laughs> it's very sweet. They had beautiful chemistry. Yeah, 
And um, and you <laughs> see that very famous story that Lorraine has told over and over again about you know the great love of her life. Within the first few minutes, I think you'll know you're in for a much different ride than than you've been on in in other Conjuring films. Um, yes, it will be scary. It wouldn't be a Conjuring film without being a very terrifying movie. Um, but again, I think the fact that we're in a different location, the fact that it's just it's it's a it's a it's a big movie. It is a big big you do. expansive you movie with the added action and adventure and yeah. Um, and a much different feel. So hopefully, as I, our audiences grow, they, they you know, you, 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 you and it's we true. grow yeah, with and, them. And the thing is, I don't think you have to see the, the first and the second to be dropped into this world. Yeah, no. If you're discovering it for the first time, you will, will not have needed that prior That's right. knowledge. It's like an episode of Law and Order. <laughs> How are you? I How are you doing? Thank you. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Spoken. I, I appreciate that. Well, I appreciate that. It's an honor. It really is. And uh, you know, your work is brilliant. And... Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hey, Mark. Anything on? <clears throat> Set. Blood pressure is a little high. I'm gonna give you a vasodilator. It's a pill you're gonna put under your tongue. It'll open up your blood vessels. Yeah, I have some of these. That's pretty cool. And roll, please, rolling. Rolling. Okay, let's see how you see it. Hey! All right, here we go. Pantomime, please. And background moving, background. Oh, oh, the caster. <laughs> I didn't hear the car pull in. Would either of you care for an omelet? Uh, no, thank you. We had breakfast before we, uh, before we left. I'm Ed. This is my wife, Lorraine. I have chicken shit on my hands. Okay. <laughs> Don't you talk to my jokes. <laughs> Don't you be talking to my girls. Hold on, Arnie. Give us a steak. Arnie, 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 over here. Over here, did you do it, Arnie? Arnie, did you do it? Tell us your side. Arnie! Over here. Arnie! Hey, get to the side. Hey. Is that your story? I love you. Arnie, what did you say to Daddy? What did you say? Did you get Arnie, can you tell us what happened? Give us something. Yeah, Give us something. Arnie! 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 Hey. Hey. Okay. I know it seems very well. My friend's been swimming since he gave his dog I can be with her. Let's do that. Nice, nice. That's it. Three is up. Three, please. Thank you.
please. How's that? Please, please. How's that? Beautiful. Aww. It's adorable. That's good. Um, why don't we do something that motivates uh, Julian to, to look back? Whether or not you, uh, like, or you say, like, shame it, or something like that, so he could be like, Hah! and then that way he's already, already facing you, you scoop him up, okay, boom, you know? Ready! ground to cover. Yeah, but not a lot of train tracks. Remember Lorraine's vision? She said she heard a train. Hey, where did she get her totem from? I just saw something about that. It was in an interview from a parents. It was in a box. Give me the keys. Stay here. Call the police. What do you want me to tell them? Anything. Just tell them to get there. Stay here, call the police. What do you want me to tell them? Anything. Just get in there. Cut. Great. Reset. Cut. 